Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us as we track Cyclone Cook now that it's departed New Caledonia and is heading towards New Zealand's North Island, probably in the early hours or at some point on Friday morning. So here's the current setup. This is an interesting map because it not only shows where the wind and the air pressure is, but it also, sh also shows where the most amount of rain is. So where these areas are in bright blue uh, around this tropical storm, which by the way doesn't pose a threat to New Zealand, and then this system, which is obviously Cyclone Cook, and then out in the Tasman, we've got this big Tasman Sea low. But it's the areas with the blue that indicate, well, that's where the rain clouds are most likely to form. And the areas with orange, which you can just see off there over in Australia, that's the dry air. So the blues, the bright blues, that's where all the moisture is. And you can see how these two systems are kind of working together. There's like a funnel shape, a V shape coming through here. And that's where we're most concerned about the rain. Either system on their own, probably not too much of a headache, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Cook is intense, but fairly small in size. And this big low energy is all spread out, so it's got lots of dry spells. But when the two join, it's this area in here where we might see some pretty heavy rain over the next couple of days. So let's take a look now at the uh, tracking map you can see from the Fiji Met Service. Cat 3, severe Cat 3, as it crossed over New Caledonia last night. And as we go through Tuesday, Cat 2, and then Cat 1 as we go into the next 24 hours. So the storm is weakening from a wind point of view, but not really from a rain point of view. Now here's a couple of models I wanted to show you. We obviously talk about various computer models and which uh, is accurate. This shows all of the different models and where they're picking the center of Cook to travel over the next couple of days. So there's a fair bit of uncertainty, but there's a common thread and that's showing Eastern Bay of Plenty, East Cape, Gisborne area for the center. That's just the middle part of the low. The rain obviously uh, is in between both the low up to the north and the low into the west. So it's a little complicated. So let me try and make a little more sense for you here. Here is uh, the setup for Wednesday, lunchtime Wednesday. So there's Cyclone Cook to the north. Uh, New Zealand is under this cloud. The heavy rain is just in this area here, which is basically Eastern Bay of Plenty towards East Cape. So the area with green and yellow, that's the really heavy rain. Pale blue on the outer edges, not much to talk about and then the other blues around it a little heavier but it's the further away from the green you are usually the lighter that rain is so it's intense in this zone and maybe patchy in other areas with dry spells as well as cook approaches to thursday lunchtime now and you can see how close the system is now getting the rain the line of rain really in that zone there which places auckland on the edge of it some people are asking me how come the uh Chances of rain, you know, the percentages are, are all over the place in places like Auckland and some other areas. Well, I'm not surprised. You've got a fine line there where it's completely dry on the Tasman Sea coastline, but on the eastern coastline, rain clouds, and a little further east of that, the torrential line of rain that hooks up that very deep low and the system that's down here over New Zealand bringing in the rain clouds. There's rain also pushing into Canterbury and many other eastern areas. Southland, you might have a few showers, but not enough, not enough rain for you. I know you want more. Now we get to Friday. This is Good Friday at lunchtime. So in comes the low right there. The air pressure could be somewhere in the 980 hectopascal range. It's a pretty deep low. The winds are worst out to the east, out on this side. Thankfully, that's out at sea. So if this is accurate, the wind won't be so much of a problem for New Zealand, but it will be potentially damaging around East Cape and Gisborne. But the heavy rain down on this line of green, mostly off the South Island's east coast, clear of you, well clear of you, but lines up with Hawke's Bay, Gisborne, and East Cape and also Eastern Bay of Plenty. So those are the areas that we are focused on. And of course, don't forget your tax dollars are funding Met Services warnings and watches. Please do stay up to date with what Met Services warning and predicting over the next few days as well as they track all the other nooks and crannies around the country. So that's your setup for, for Good Friday. It's certainly an interesting day, but behind it, not so bad. And by the way, Auckland and Hamilton and Whangarei, I mean, this is a good example of how a big stormy system like this can go by, but you may not be that badly affected unless it drifts more to the west at this stage. It doesn't look too bad for you. You're sort of separated from it. And a little bit like when you see on TV those big tornadoes in America, the cameraman can film it but not be affected by it. It's a little bit like that maybe, maybe for Auckland, that it'll be way out to the east but it's still one to watch. And once again, I emphasize, keep up to date with those Met Service warnings and watches. And the final map we've got here is for Saturday. It shows the low down here. Some of the models are showing it might spin around and come back up and join with this. Others show it just falls apart. Either way, a bit of moisture still coming down from the tropics. Uh, the storm itself, 
the tropical side of it is falling apart. Then it merges into a new system down here, hopefully away from us. But a bit of a wet Saturday for western areas, sunny though in the east. That's quite a bit to talk about. We'll get more uh, detailed for you as we get closer to arrival day, which is probably Thursday night or Friday morning. So look out for our next update on Wednesday. <laughs>